So this video is about nutrient recycling. When you have an aquaponic system or even just aquaculture, the biggest problem is uh, disposal of fish waste. Okay, so flushing regularly is important. See, I just flushed the system here. Usually I go and dump this out and I add new water. Well, I'm gonna try a new idea, similar to what I'm doing on my other system, which I'll show you shortly. I'm gonna flush it and then let it settle until next day. And then next day, I will pour the clear portion that's on the top, put it back in the system, and then dump the solid that settled to the bottom. Similar to what I do in my decoupled system, which is I just flushed it this morning, and you see the solid has settled to the bottom. You see the band there? So I can throw that away, but I still have about, you know, 20 gallons of clear liquid that I usually, after I dump that first three, four gallons as waste, then the rest, the clear portion, I use it as food for my decoupled aquaponic uh, systems here. So basically, as a reminder, a decoupled aquaponic is hydroponic, separate from the aquaculture. So this is true aquaculture here, and this is true hydroponic, but they are connected together via, via the manual transfer of nutrient from here to here. So this hydroponic system, these tomatoes, and this uh, lettuce has not gotten any fertilizer except for the nutrient that I'm transferring from that cone tank to here. This morning, I transferred 10 gallons each uh, to each of these systems. So back to my coupled aquaponic system where they are connected. Here's the fish and here's the plants. So these, again, these plants are getting the nutrient from these fish. Uh, no fertilizer at all has been added. The only thing I've been adding is a buffer to adjust the pH. So, like I said, in the past, I've been throwing away this uh, 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 liquid waste and adding fresh water to replace it. Now, I'm going to start doing what I'm doing over there. Tomorrow, before I flush again, I will pour back the clear portion, put it there, and dispose of that. So, watch for the follow-up video. So here's this system, and here is uh, this system. Let's take a close look. This is a little bit different topic. Let's take a close look. Uh, I've been having some uh, midge flies, which looks like uh, mosquitoes, but they uh, don't bite, luckily. So I've been having uh, midge flies in the problem, and that doesn't look like any midge flies. Uh, because they are red, they, they are red color. Worms are blood red color. Anyway, that's a different topic. Follow up uh, video tomorrow when I'll show you the clear portion being dumped back there and uh, dumping the waste out. But the plants look really well. The Rushai lettuce uh, is doing really well. Uh, time for harvest. Uh, there's always the occasional weed. Tomatoes are doing well, but because soon the shade cloth will close um, when it gets uh, too sunny, they are not getting enough sunlight and I've been thinning them. So I wouldn't recommend tomato in this situation because they are not going to produce any profitable crop. Um, so in this situation.